Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're looking at the Atoto GPS Android stereo that was sent to me to do a review on. Now, they contacted me after seeing my videos of the Seacan car audio and me talking about how terrible quality it is. And they contacted me and said, hey, our stereo is better quality. Would you like to try it out? And I'm like, sure, why not? Send one my way. So let's have a first look at it. So this is it right here. A Toto A6. Android in-car entertainment. This is the model A6271P2G. Plus 32 gig. What we're going to do, I got my 12 volt power supply that I borrowed from the garage. We're going to set this up inside first because the Wi-Fi is better and then we'll install it in my truck. It's like Christmas. Just get straight to the goods. None of this messing around BS. Wow, this is the unit right here, no buttons whatsoever. A little memory card slot in the side, reset button. Wow, well let's uh, plug in the cord, hook it up, see what happens. If something's wrong, we'll let the smoke out of the wires, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, that was pretty fast. How do we... Okay. There we go, download. Downloading new software. Let's install now. This thing's way nicer than the last one. I'm telling you that right now. This thing is pretty badass. Uh, rebooting, rebooting. Once it's finished updating, I got the memory card from the CCAN stereo and it's got GPS maps like an actual program and Torque Pro that we're going to install on this that this one doesn't have. While it's updating, a lot of people like to know what comes in the package. There's a microphone. There is one USB cable. Two more USBs. This is your GPS antenna. Yay, it's booting back up. Finishing boot. They need to come out with a iOS based system. Where do I go if I go home? Oh, okay. I do got a Torque. Is that Torque Pro? Well, let's update that too. This is why I want to do it inside the house instead of outside. Get all the updates done inside here and then I don't have to worry. Because out back by the garage, the Wi-Fi signal is kind of spotty. It doesn't quite reach that far so it seems to take forever. Okay, so now we're back to the main screen. Might as well start here. The radio looks pretty sweet. Let's go to the home. File manager, easy connect. Okay, yeah, yeah. iPhone Wi-Fi. Have to keep that in mind.
Pandora I don't got. Let's go back to Torque here. Now you guys can stalk me via my stereo. Man, this operates so much smoother. Hey, look at that YouTube I can watch. Check my network connection. So this is what it starts up as default, not even signed into nothing. Man, YouTube automatically posts the most stupidest videos. All right, let's just go to the obvious here. I should install the GPS. There we go, boots up. Oh yeah, I got a GPS signal in the house, look at that. So now I'm back, I was pissing around, trying to do this and that and everything else. Basically this is your home screen. Obviously download a bunch of apps. I got the GPS hooked up uh, with the sensor pointing out through the window there. It says my accuracy is within 10 feet or so, which is pretty good. Why did I want that? Why did it go to there? Email, which I won't obviously connect. Try to have as little information as possible on this. Oh, that's how I get back to the radio. All right, that's enough for one night. Playing around. So what do you guys think? Kind of played around with it for a little bit. I think it's way better than the Secan one. This company seems to be a lot better quality. User interface, everything just seems so much smoother. But we need to give it an honest test. Hook it up in my truck. I need to go out, pick up the wiring harness and everything else that got delivered today. And then we need to install it in my truck and run it for a month or two. And see what's going to happen. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here at the introduction. And the next time, we're going to get a better look at it. And do some more testing once it's installed in the vehicle. I'll talk to you guys later.